Alrighty, boys and girls, I'm gonna show you the first half of creating a barn one point perspective drawing. So for this drawing, you are going to need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser of some kind, other than your piece of paper, of course. So a ruler, a pencil, and I'm gonna use the second pencil as an eraser. So while we are drawing for this project, the key is going to be drawing light until you like your line, because there is a lot of erasing that is going to happen today. To start us off, we're going to create a line across the middle of our paper. I don't wanna make it too high, and I don't wanna make it too low. Right in the middle, this is going to be our horizon line of our picture. So right in the middle of my paper, if it's a little off the center, that is okay. This is the horizon line of our picture. We are going to create a funky barn with whatever you like growing on your barn, your farm. So next we're gonna create our farmhouse or our barn. So to do that, I'm gonna start off by drawing a rectangle and you could use your ruler to draw this if you would like. I'm gonna draw the bottom of my barn. And remember, I'm going to draw lightly until I like a line. I make a rectangular shape. Make sure your lines look straight up and down. Alrighty, once I have this shape, I'm going to make the roof of my barn. So the difference between a barn and a house is the type of roof that they have. If you would like a regular triangular roof, that is 100% okay. But the difference between a barn roof and a regular roof is that a barn roof has an extra corner in it. So it starts off a little wider and then it gets really narrow towards the top. So I'm gonna go up on a slight angle first. Slight angle first. And then I'm gonna go really quick on another angle towards the middle here to make it look a little bit more like a barn style roof. Alrighty. Once I'm all done here, I'm going to go ahead and erase this part of the horizon line that is going through my building. You can also take a moment here to erase any lines that you do not love about your drawing. I do not love this area right here, so I'm going to correct what I do not like and draw the line how I like it. This is my barn so far. Next step is you're going to draw a horizon line or a vantage point, sorry. Vanishing, vanishing point. Oh my goodness. I'm going to draw a vanishing point next. So your vanishing point is the furthest spot you're going to be able to see in your drawing. So for the sake of our drawing, the barn is gonna look like it's right up next to us and our vanishing point is gonna look really far away, miles in the distance. So to do this, Got a piece of fuzzy on there. I'm going to draw a dot somewhere along this horizon line over here. I could draw all the way over here, or I could draw it right here. I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle, right here. And this is really up to you for this part. My next job is all of my corners on this side of my barn, I'm going to connect to my vanishing point. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start off with my bottom corner Take this corner, line it up with my ruler or straight edge. If you remember, if you don't have a ruler, you could always use a folder or a notebook and put the other edge of it on my vanishing point. Then I'm gonna connect that with a dot. This is just like our name project we did. I'm going to go to my next corner, connect this corner and my vanishing point dot. And then I'm gonna go to this extra little corner of my roof, vanishing point, and connect with a line. And then finally the top of my barn. And connect that to the vanishing point. Oops. Oh no, my ruler's scooching away from me. Whenever that happens, it's always best to just erase that little extra line that happened. All right, next, I'm going to create 
the length of my barn. So right now, my barn kind of looks like a train that goes on forever, if you look. If you want to make a, a giant barn that goes on forever, you could leave it at this point. But I think we should create some boundary to the end of my barn. So I don't want a super giant barn. I want a pretty sh short barn. So to do that, I'm gonna create a parallel line that is parallel with the edge of my barn and create a line. So I could do that by taking my ruler and sliding it until I get to a distance I like and drawing a line like there. Same with my next corner. I'm gonna line up my ruler with the ledge and slide it until it connects with my previous line I made. Connect it. And I'm gonna do that again for my last corner. Slide it, because we wanna make sure all of them are parallel lines. So if you can see, I have three lines that I created that are parallel to these three edges of my barn. Now, looking at my picture, there's a lot of extra lines to erase. Once again, I wanna make sure my horizon line is not cutting through the middle of my barn. So I'm gonna erase that piece of horizon line that goes in the middle of my barn. Next, I'm gonna erase these extra pieces because I wanted my barn to end with my parallel lines. So if my barn is ending with these parallel lines, I can erase all of these extra lines over here, except for my horizon line. So I'm gonna erase this line down here. Perfect. And these three lines up here, leaving my horizon line. If you erase your horizon line a little bit, we can go ahead and draw that baby back down. So, so far, you should have what looks like a 3D barn. All right, now is where your barn gets fun. So you could grow normal vegetables on your barn, have a couple of cows, keep a usual barn, or we can make it extra fun. Maybe you wanna make a dessert barn. Maybe you wanna make a barn that grows Gucci sweaters, I don't know. Anything you want on your farm. So I'm gonna start with my barn house and I think I wanna give it some windows. So if I'm working on this side of my building, I need to include, use my ruler to create my windows. If I am working on the front of my building, I do not need my ruler to connect to the vanishing point. So I wanna create a door on the side of my barn. And to do that, I'm going to draw a line where I want the top of my door to be. The reason I'm gonna use my ruler is so that it looks like it is also 3D. It doesn't look like a flat door against my building. And I'm gonna start a little bit away from the edge of each of my little edges here. And I'm gonna draw a line. With that, I'm gonna just create a line coming straight down. And now it looks like there's an opening to the inside of my barn on this side, like a little garage door. For the front of my barn, all you have to do is draw however you would like your door to be on the front of your barn. Maybe I want to look like a little barn door that has a little piece of wood going across it. This is where it is up to you. You do not have to copy me. If I wanted to create windows on the side of my barn, I will create some windows. I'm gonna do the same idea where I'm gonna draw two lines, making sure I'm lined up with the dot where I want the bottoms of my windows to be, and then line up with my dot again, and two lines on the top, and then make sure they are parallel to the sides of my barn. And you can erase all those extra lines around it. Now it looks like I have some windows on my barn. All right, let's have fun and let's make a fence now for our barn. So I'm gonna create a fence, a fenced in field and a road. I have a really cool trick to do this. So I'm going to, maybe I want my fence to start right here. So I'm gonna connect this corner down here to my dot 
and bring it here. Then to create the other post, fence post, I'm gonna keep this side of the ruler, the same spot on the dot, and I'm just gonna scooch my ruler just a little bit. So I have, it looks like a big triangle. Then to make it look like a fence, and this is important because otherwise it's gonna look like a sidewalk. I'm gonna keep my lines going parallel to the edge of my paper. So that means up and down. If I do that, and I have it going all the way back, it looks like a fence is standing up. I'll show you a cool trick because if I do it sideways, it's gonna look like a sidewalk. My goodness, I cannot grab my ruler and my crayons are getting everywhere. So maybe I wanna have a road over here, so I'm gonna draw another line. And then I can make this area right here a road next to my fence. Maybe I wanna add a couple additional fence posts between here. That's a pretty crooked fence post. Perfect. So here's my road, and then I'm gonna add a sidewalk on the other side of my road. So I'm just gonna add another triangle, bring it back to the dot, draw a line. Notice every single line I draw connects back to this dot right here. To make it look like a sidewalk instead of like a fence, I'm gonna keep it parallel to the bottom of my paper. So you could always start off drawing your first line there. Draw a line, draw a line. Now it looks like there's, oops, a sidewalk. My goodness, some of my lines are getting crazy. Going all the way back next to my barn. Can you guys see how this one looks like it's flat and this one looks like it's standing up like a fence? The only difference is that these ones have horizontal lines and these ones have vertical lines. All right, next, if you would like, you could add maybe a little fence over here. Oop. This is why it's always good to use your rulers. We'll use my ruler again. A fence back here in the distance. So I know that this is a field over here. And we can have some crops. So you could either put some animals in your field right here, or you could put some crops. Maybe you want some rows, like when you grow uh, corn, how they grow in rows. I'm gonna make all my rows connect back to my vanishing point. You guessed it. And I'm gonna go all the way off my paper. Notice I'm just scooching them along my vanishing point. So now it looks like I have rows and rows in my field here. Then you can go ahead and maybe if you wanna draw corn, draw your little ears of corn. And remember when we talked about perspective, the closer things are, the bigger they are. And the further they go, the smaller they get. So my front piece ears of corn need to be my biggest pieces of corn. Some big old pieces of corn. And then as I go further and further back, they're slowly gonna get smaller. Until you have a little itty bitty baby pieces of corn growing in your pasture. Now these pieces of corn that I'm drawing, I'm also keeping the same, I'm not having them turn sideways when I'm drawing them. I'm keeping them vertical as I'm drawing them. Alrighty, maybe over here I have some cabbage growing. I don't know how to draw cabbage, so I'm just gonna draw some circles with leaves around it. And remember as I get further back, 
They're going to get smaller and smaller. Maybe. I have some other kind of plant over here. So you guys are going to draw your different types of plants going from really close it's really small. And remember, this is your type of barn. So you could add corn if you would like, but you could also have cupcakes. Maybe you're growing cupcakes on your farm. Maybe you're growing, I don't know, frogs on your farm. Anything that you could think of. Maybe you're growing purses on your farm or flip-flops. Up to you. Alrighty.